kind fairy dances just as beautifully as the goddess of creation. Ah, <sighs> here we go again. Let me guess, she was dancing when your grandfather saw her create life, was she? <laughs> Very funny. A goddess is all powerful. Of course she can dance. Fairy Nilu, can you teach Padisara how to dance? Oh, of course! How about we start up with the most basic steps? Okay. What about you, Grandpa Almond? Would you like to join? <laughs> this old nutcracker? Uh, I'm not quite as limber as I used to be. Come on, Grandpa Almond. Join us. All right, all right. Grandpa can't say no to you, can he? Um, Firecracker? I think you've had enough. Look, I'm just really happy for you, okay? <laughs> happy for all of us. The entire forest. Listen to you. You're gonna ruin your voice if you keep going. <laughs> just fixed the kink in my neck, and now my arms feel like they're gonna fall off. But seeing the tavern full and lively again makes it all worth it. Everything that happened yesterday wasn't just a dream, then. Well, it's time for our next fairy tale adventure! We should head to the station Grandpa Almond told us about. Get up, said Jewel! Time to get to work, you lazy bones. Oh, 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 I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. Just let me sleep a little longer, and I'm sure I'll remember. Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. I saw you chugging cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. Ugh. You must be mistaken, Grandpa Almond. That guy definitely wasn't me. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were fading. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. The fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. All right. I'm up. I'm up. The Maritime Express should be here soon. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Uh, is everything okay? The hero, his pixie companion, and the forest fairy. Oh, I, I didn't know you were already here. <laughs> Merciful macadamias. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's all right. Paimon knows the feeling. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes, e each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. Oh, so you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? 
Well, the, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. Ah, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Here comes the train. Pleasure to meet you, everyone. My name is Will, and I'll be the conductor for your journey today. I'm assuming you're the one who called the train. Whoa, it's a little toy man! Yes, we, we called the train. The hero and the forest fairy need a ride to Constellation Metropole. The, the hero and the forest fairy? The ones from the prophecy? Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? We could have prepared a far more luxurious train. I'll just go back and get a better one. That's okay, Mr. Wheel. We're trying to get to the city as fast as possible. We just need you to get us across the sea. In your capable hands, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. Uh, of course, my lady. It would be an honor. Well then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. <sighs> oh, breakfast. <sighs> hmm? Did one of you just say something? wasn't me either. Oh, breakfast. Um, oh, come back. Hmm. Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. <sighs> Fish. Chicken drumsticks. Oh, God. What the? What's Kirara doing here? Is she a friend of yours? Oh, let Paimon introduce you. This is Kirara. She's. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe we should wake her up first. So noisy. Is it morning already? Oh, morning? Huh? Huh? Traveler! Paimon! I it's you? Which means... Oh, thank goodness! It was all a dream after all! <laughs> oh, gotta hand it to my imagination, it all felt super real. There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. Ahem. <clears throat> Madam, sleeping overnight in the train car is prohibited. Uh, it, it wasn't just a dream? It's alright, Kirara. Apparently we're in a world called Simulanka. We got here yesterday, too. Simulanka? So, that's what it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. <sighs> I was seriously starting to think I had gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and gotten swallowed whole. Ah, I take it you're in a zoom in then, Miss Kirara? She sure is! But, uh, Kirara here is kinda special. Let Paimon introduce you for real this time. Kirara is a Nekomata from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Ah, huh. nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're Nilu! I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries in Sumeru. I even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. But, uh, did you say you were a... Forest fairy? Oh, yeah, that's her new identity here in Simulanka. Oh, speaking of new identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara! Yeah, I know! 
confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. That must mean you have a big part to play here too! Is... is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still... Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice... Oh, yeah, I did hear something! But I was so freaked out my tails got all tangled, so I, uh... Didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> sorry for the interruption. But this, uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Or frogs? Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I'd been out in the wild too long without anything to eat. Oh, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. <coughs> Where are your manners, everyone? This young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. Now, I know a fear of felines is etched into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Nekomata in boots here means us no harm. It sure looks like you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Almond. You will have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday, and I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, not that I'd try to eat you even if you did look tasty. Uh, promise. Please excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. Ahem. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. Oh, yeah, that. Whoops. This turned into a pretty long conversation, didn't it? All right, let's get on the train. You coming with us, Kirara? Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metropole that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. Then all that remains for me to say is, on behalf of the Forest of Blessings, thank you once again for all you've done for us. May the Goddess of Fate be with you and bless your journey. Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in Boots, and our brave heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again, once peace has returned to this land. We will. We'll definitely meet again. Take care, Grandpa Almond. Safe trip! Wow! A train ride over the sea? What an incredible view! Please keep your head and arms inside the train at all times. We don't want anyone falling into the sea. There's a train coming the other way too! Now that the fading disorder is cured, I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. I gotta go explore that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. I just hope they, uh, won't be too scared of me. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark.
Here we are! Constellation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. Great! And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. Um, as you wish, ma'am. Where should we go next? Is that place you wanted to check out nearby? Mm-hmm. I took a walk around yesterday, and it felt like there was something... weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. Want us to come with you? It's okay. You guys go ahead and visit the Metropole for now. Hopefully, that's where you'll be able to find out some more about this world. I pretty much explored the whole place from the rooftops yesterday, but for some reason, this is the place that caught my attention. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, when you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Don't worry, if you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say Gold Level Courier of the Comania Express. Okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Guess this is where we say bye for now. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. Thank you.